Hey, YouTube, what's good? It's your boy, America African. Today is day 28 of a 31-day water fast. Day 8, uh, 28 of a 31-day water fast. Um, It's been a rough week, you know, just mentally and everything. A lot of stress this week. The stress kind of make the the fasting hard, but... You know, it's it's one of those type of stresses that it's like, it don't it don't give me an appetite. In fact, I don't have an appetite. Like if today was a day to break my fast, I don't even know if I would eat. You feel me? I have a loss of appetite right now, but I push through. You know, we always do. We got to. We don't have a choice in this life. You know, we just gotta keep pushing and see where the roads take us. You know what I mean? I might be speaking a little cryptic. Um. I've been pooping, right? I pooped the last two days, and it was white poop. White poop. I've never had white poop. It's like little pebbles, and it's white. And at first, it was kind of scary. Like, I could, I was like, no, 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 it just can't be happening. And I had to, like, calm myself down. I was like, okay, let's think about this. You shouldn't really have poop anyway. So if you're going to have poop, it's probably white because of the lemons, you know, it's probably just the pulp of the lemons or even the pills. It's probably even the pills, the multivitamins, you know, it's coming out four weeks later and shit. But, yo, I have less than four days left. It's good news. I'm not really excited, though. Like I said, it's not like. Put it like this, the way I'm feeling, I'm going to break my fast just to break it. And I'm going to start another one, you know. My birthday is, you know two months, yo. So for 36, I want to be happy with where I am. At least what, at least as far as my health goes, you know. Uh, but, you know, life is crazy, man. You know, I used to tell people that when I'm 35, I was going to get married. And man, I really tried, like, I really pushed for it. I definitely had some mishaps and some fuck-ups and, you know, shit happened. But I tried, you know. I can't wait till I'm 36 so I can cross that out, though, and be like, all right. I'm. It's, if it happened, it happened. If it don't happen, it don't happen. But, you know, it's life. You got to make plans. You got to try. You got to strive. You got to make goals. That was, that was one of my goals. That was one of my goals. Almost, I got close. I got so close. Could just never bring it home, you know? But for now, you know, I'm just going to focus on my health. I can't wait to get back outside jogging again. I want to be a healthy, healthy 36. At 36, I want to be the healthiest I have ever been in my life. If I don't have anything else in this life, man, I want to have my health. You know, I want to have my health. I want to at least say, at least I did that. At least I remember where I was five years ago and look where I am now. At least I took care of that, you know. My career has always kind of been on track for like the past 10 years. My career has been on track. Get my health right. Keep pushing. Keep pushing, you know, my spiritual life. My spiritual life is kind of going in another direction now. You know, I'm getting deeper spiritually, but not necessarily. I'm not really, I'm not a church person, right? But, um, you know what I'm saying? I dive into the word and uh, I get into the African shit when it comes to the spirituality. So, yeah. So, you know, get right. You know, you got the um, the spiritual. You got the You got the career. You got the love, you got the health, you got the family. What else? Then you kind of got the hobbies and shit, you know what I'm saying, the fun. My hobbies, I just haven't been in touch with them for like the past year. But once my uh, my health is better, everything, like my, my the hobbies that I really love doing is all based on being in good health, you know what I'm saying, like riding the bike, jogging, traveling if i really get my way you know i'll be able to travel by the end of this year beginning of the next year 
if you know if God answers my prayers, you know. But it's one of those things I want to do, but if I don't do it, it won't make me sad. I'll just keep pushing to make sure I do it. Actually, I have to. I kind of have to travel by the end of this year because I have vacation time that if I don't use, I'll lose. I don't necessarily have the money to travel and do what I want to do, but I could do a small trip, you know. So, I don't know. I might just cash out the vacation too. That's what we do sometimes. But I ha- I haven't traveled all year. I haven't traveled. All year. I haven't even taken two days and said, "Let me go somewhere." I might just do that. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. But back to the fasting shit, man. I haven't really been drinking water because I'm not. It's hard for the water to go down. Like when I drink water, it's just like a little bit at a time. Even when I put lemons in the water now, it's like the acidity. I'm kind of tired of it. When I buy mango stees, I can drink that one if I freeze it. When I buy lemon stees, I don't really like it lately. So at least we only got four days left. You know what I'm saying? It's hard for the water to go down. I'm still taking my apple cider vinegar and multivitamin every morning. It's just hard to drink water. And then like this mouth... For the first time in a long time, I woke up with dry mouth, you know? Like, my tongue wasn't hanging out of my mouth, but my mouth was open and it was dry. And it was kind of scary because I absolutely hate dry mouth. I don't know what it is about it, but it just reminds me of, like, some bad things anyway. I'm just going to leave it at that. So, you know, anytime I wake up with dry mouth, I'm I'm always kind of like, Hopefully when I break this fast, the food that I take in, the liquid that I take in, reset my system. Because if it doesn't, I will start off my next fast with dry mouth. And if I do, it's going to be a very hard fast because I'll have to brush my mouth like four or five times a day just to combat it. And that won't even necessarily fix it, you know. Once it starts, it doesn't really stop until you hydrate long enough. Which brings me to the point, if I'm having dry mouth, it's because of dehydration of some sort. It's because of dehydration of some sort, you know. Um, My bad, it's a tough day. It's been a tough week. Um, If you have a dry mouth, it's like dehydration, right? It's because of thirst. When you're thirsty, you're dehydrated. Am I dehydrated? Possibly. Do I feel dehydrated? No. The only thing that tells me I'm dehydrated is the dry mouth. My energy is good. I haven't even been taking snake juice. That might be another reason I have dry mouth. I haven't been taking salt, right? I don't have any fiend for it. Being that I have three days left, it's like I'm going to get salt in my system plentiful and like Three days. Let's say Wednesday, right? So, you know, I'm just I'm just still thinking about it. I might just take snake, snake juice as a buffer. I just don't want to upset my system. I'm feeling good enough. Let's just say I'm not feeling bad. I'm just like in the middle. I'm neutral. And I just I actually want to finish 31 days. My health comes first, obviously. But I want to get there. I'm almost there. But, you know, when you start having things like dry mouth and all sorts of things that's really close to the head, it starts to affect you. And you start to say, man, I'm so tired of this fast. <laughs> I'm so tired of this fast, yo. I'm so tired of this fast. This is one of the, well, I give I give praise to God. I give praise to God. But what I was going to say is like this fast is uh, it's one of those fasts where it's like, when I'm done, I'm going to say, yeah, I just did a 31-day water fast. To some people, most people, majority of people, that's like, whoa, right? But to me, it's like, I got like two like two more to go by the end of the year. 
and three, maybe three. Maybe I'll do three twenty ones. Maybe I'll do another thirty. Maybe I'll do a twenty one and then a thirty. I don't really know what's next. What's next on my calendar is either a twenty one or a twenty five. But twenty five, I don't think I ever want to do a twenty five. I just don't like the number when it comes to fashion. It's either gonna be like a twenty one. Or 30. That's what I'm thinking. I think that um, 30 would be the sweet spot. The only problem I have with a 30-day water fast is, like, you got to really be busy. I finished my game. I, I got, like, three big books to read. I even ordered another one. So, some mangas. I got, like, three mangas, and I got this Dune book. I haven't even cracked them open. See, the thing about me when it comes to reading... I'm never in the mood. But if I take the book and I just read the first few pages, naturally I'll keep my mind will keep going to it. I'll keep reading it. And one day I'll sit down and I'll just finish it, you know, over like two days or something. It don't matter how big the book is. So maybe my next fast will be reading. Maybe. Maybe I'll have some peace and I'll be able to sit down and read. You know, I bought an Xbox, the newest Xbox, right? The Series X or whatever for this game, Starfield, and I beat it. And now I'm kind of like, I don't even want this Xbox anymore. I don't like it. Like, the console is so bad. I know the PS5 is better, but... The games that I want is on the Xbox. That's why I got it. Well, maybe I'll play some Forza. Maybe that'll occupy some time. I used to be a big time Forza head, a gear head, you know. But yeah, I'm just rambling now. It's day 28. I'll probably catch y'all day 30. I might catch y'all tomorrow, but if not, day 31, day 30, or at the break of my fast. We just got, we got less than four days to go. We say we got three and a half days to go. I'm feeling good. You know, I always give thanks to God for his grace and mercy. <sighs> One day soon, we're going to look at my pictures from when I started to now. You'll see. You'll see. I know right now y'all don't see it unless you look at my face and stuff like that, but you don't really see it. It's because I just don't want to focus on that. It causes anxiety, you know what I mean? Especially the scale. The scale can cause a lot of anxiety. And if I've already told myself I'm going to the end of the year, I don't want to be thinking like, oh, what do I weigh today? What do I weigh compared to then? Oh, my weight isn't moving like I thought it would. I don't I don't want anything on my mind like that. I just want to get it done. So we have two and a half months left of fasting this year, but we have three and a half days left in this particular fast that we're on. I'll catch you on the next video. Like, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.